there she is. She's back on the rock. Come on. Stay on the rock. We got some striper action up here. We got birds swirling. I'm on my way to my first spot, but I might have to have a gander at these striper. Right? Just... Every video is just kind of like, see what happens. Like today, obviously, bass fishing was the priority. It's always a priority, but... To be honest, the last time I came through this, this channel, I saw a couple guys doubling up on the A-Rig. I think you actually left a comment in that video, too. So, you know, I brought one just in case. <laughs> and apparently, that's a, that was a good decision. Freak choked it. Choked the rig. Oh, the stroke reaction started. Man, look at it. Blow it up. Alrighty, folks. Wow, what an eventful morning it's been. Man, they're going crazy out in that channel. Caught one good one on the A-Rig, but then, man, so much so much action. That helicopter doing I don't even know what, and then that million dollar boat coming through. And thank you, sir, for uh, slowing down, because that would have not been fun. Yeah, I just kept going on, and I'm probably an idiot for not staying out there in the channel and striper fishing, because it's definitely going on out there. But uh, we're here to bass fish, and we're going back to that same area that I fished the last couple of videos. Don't leave fish to find fish, especially on the delta especially from a kayak where the delta can be so spotty last time we basically caught a ton of males on that little kitex swing impact electric shad just smashed them it was night and day difference between any other bait but i'm hoping that some of those females that were cruising around have moved up onto those beds and we can do the exact same thing but now catch bigger fish with that kitex but as always the delta is never the same changes by the hour definitely an interesting start to the morning but uh let's get after those uh those green ones there's the money Come on, fish. Still be smashing this Kitek, would you? It would be much appreciated. Gosh, can't emphasize this enough, but last time there was no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They were not happy to see this thing. They were killing it. I think they'd kill it again. We shall see, though. Isn't that a trip, guys? I just went through that same bank that we smashed them on. Not a single bite. We might have to venture to the other side. Try our luck with the striper. Maybe we need this tide to drop a little more. God, that's so crazy though. Just, I mean, just like we kept in mind, things are different back here. I haven't even seen a bass back here. It's weird because they're definitely spawning back here. And I mean, there's no tournaments going on right now. So it's not like people are taking them off their bed and weighing them in unless there's you know, people back here fishing and keeping them. I think a lot of you probably think I'm crazy for not fishing for those striper. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to agree with you. I think that was probably a dumb thing. Let's head back and see if they're still active out there. Hmm. Man, now it's dead out here. Not even seeing birds or anything schooling. Son of a... All right, guys, mid-morning updates. So, wrong decisions this morning for sure, but uh, we're gonna keep pushing along. Hopefully, this tide will change some things. The fish will start getting active again. The tide is moving out. It is what it is. Keep plugging away. Let's explore. We're just exploring now. Just had one come out and get it. Dang it. It was a good one too. Why was he shy?
There we go. All right, maybe it is still on. Maybe it is still on. And we just needed to find the right area. It's not a half bad fish. Oh. Got him right in the kisser. All right, just had to make a little move. It's a solid one. Let's, you know what, let's do it again. Let's weigh our best five. It's gotta be a two and a halfer. Zero it out. Oh man, 215. It's got some meat to it, I guess. I bet you that fish is spawning. Look at the tail, a bloody tail. Go back to your bed, wherever it may be in this dirty water. All right, not a bad way to start. A little 215 action. We're prepared today. Just like last time, just slow rolling this thing right along the bank where those fish are spawning. They're all spawning on this side. They're not spawning on that side from what I've seen. And it's because obviously the rock is a hard surface for them to spawn on. They're making it kind of obvious for me. Got a keel weighted hook right through there. Nice weedless presentation. Electric shad, man, that thing looks good in this water too. It's like natural, but it also has like that little bit of purple to it. So I think it just stands out real nice. Fish. Old rage menace getting it done again. Ah, I guess we'll wear. Since we're keeping track, and honestly for me, five fish, five keepers on the delta in a day is it's always a good day. It's gotta be a pound and a half maybe. 111. These fish aren't long, but they got some meat to them for sure. Definitely got some meat to them. This is more of a good spawning bait for me. When you know they're on beds up shallow, but you can't really get to them with other baits, you gotta go to them. Hard to beat this one. Because you know they're spawning in these reeds right here. I can't really get my Kitek back there or anything, so. Throw this back there. Hopefully it lands on one's head. Fish over here, gotta be. Oh, that was great at the boat. All righty, all righty. Right at the boat. Probably a little male on a bed. On the Kitek. I think I'm fishing too fast. One nine, number three. And it's 11 o'clock. It's three keepers, definitely not gone to plan today. A little tougher, but there are fish here. Dirtier water back here. I made a switch to the chatter and got bit just almost immediately. Probably should have done that a lot sooner. Oh, both swing fail. Ooh, that one's got some meat to it. Oh, yeah, that one's got a lot of meat to it. Ah, man. I'm almost tempted to go back through those areas with the chatter bait now. 211. It's a solid one right there. Chunky. Look at that fish. That's a good fish right there. Oh, we might be able to catch that fish. No. Why did I have to get snagged up there? Well, you guys get to see this fish real quick. Oh my god, look at the size of that thing. That damn jig stuck right there. Oh, 
Ooh, she came off. Dang it. Look at that one right there. On this low tide, just like chilling on that rock. Fish is just way too, way too catchable. <laughs> Fish is super catchable. Man, I kind of want to get underwater shot of that one. I feel like that could be an underwater shot fish right there. Let's do it. Might as well. Nasty. Sketchy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, now we need that wind to calm down. Just give me like a second. Yeah, she hasn't come back yet. Come on, girl. Let's see the fish. I think the fish wants to move back up on that rock. She just hasn't yet. I don't know if the camera like spooked her or what. This fish is probably so confused. It's on the wrong side of the camera. The fish is right to the left of the camera. Come on, fish. All right, I think it's... It's getting, it's getting comfortable now. It's back up kind of on the rock. Oh, got her. Hope that was on camera. Finally. Oh, she's a fighter. A lot bigger than I thought, too. Oh, yeah. All right. Hopefully that got it on camera. We got her. We got her. Look at that. Two six. All right, thank you, girl. Nice. today's video not a bad day i guess you could say out on the delta i think i don't even know i think we had exactly what we had last time weight wise maybe about 12 pounds for our best five and our only five plus a bonus striper yeah that's you guys saw it thought we we're gonna go back there and smash them on the kite tech we caught a couple on the kite tech we got a chatterbait fish and a couple of them on the old bed but that's how it always goes i can never plan videos just because you never know what's going to happen in fishing i will say this i wish i had stayed longer on those striper i think that could have been a lot of fun yeah, maybe next time. Anyways, I got about an hour drive home. Probably re-rig. Get ready for another day of fishing tomorrow, which will probably be the next upload two or three days from now. But as always, thank you guys for coming along. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.